Hello everyone and welcome back to Conchitina's Cucina. Today we are going to be making a wonderful double chocolate zucchini muffin. And here are some of the wonderful ingredients you're going to need. Now these muffins are a family favorite and you will love them. So I've got some zucchinis I have to use up. You can see that they are starting to go. So that's why I decided to make these today. So you're gonna need some vanilla extract, brown sugar, salt, granulated sugar, baking soda, butter, two eggs, some cocoa, some chocolate chips, and some all-purpose flour. Let's get started and heat up our oven to 350 degrees. Okay, now that our oven is preheated, we're going to get the muffin tins ready. If you want, you could do according to the recipe. It says to use two 8 by 4 inch loaf pans. I believe we might need a little bit more muffin tins after we're done, but we'll see how the mixture goes. Let's get ready with our dry ingredients. The recipe calls for a large bowl, combined flour, cocoa powder, baking soda, and salt. Two and a half cups of flour. There's our second one. And two and a half. I've already measured out half a cup of cocoa, so we're gonna put that in with our dry ingredients. Also two teaspoons of our baking soda. So we're gonna add that into the mixture. And then a teaspoon of salt. In another large bowl, we now have to combine three quarters of a cup of melted butter, two eggs, one half cup of brown sugar, and one cup of sugar, granulated sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla. So a little trick I've shown you before is there's little markings on our butter. You can see that I've put a little uh, knife edge in there to indicate that is three quarters of a cup. And I'm gonna put that in my microwave safe um, measuring cup to melt it down now. So let's add one cup of sugar. Don't forget to pack down your brown sugar so that it's an accurate measurement. And now we're going to get the butter melted and we'll add that in with our eggs and our vanilla. There's our two eggs, our two teaspoons of vanilla go in there. And I melted the butter for about um, 40 seconds and just to show you, it does come out to a little bit more. So I'm not going to pull, put the full amount in. I'm going to simply put in a little bit of that and leave about a quarter. Now I'm gonna give that a good mix. And it says that it wants you to combine this mixture with your flour mixture and do not over mix. So let's go back to our flour mixture and I am going to just get that mixed up so that when we put it together we won't have to over mix it. So add the flour mixture to your melted butter mixture. So once that's all stirred, okay, we can see that the flour mixture is well blended. So is the butter mixture. We're going to add flour to that and we have to get our grated zucchini ready. You can see that the zucchini is ready to be grated. Um, you do not have to peel your zucchini. The only reason why I did is they had to be used up. So please leave the skin on. It gives you those wonderful vitamins and minerals that we need. Uh, now we're just gonna grate that up so we can add it to our mixture. So we're 
we're stirring it now and trying not to over mix it so I'm kind of almost folding it just lifting and folding it so that way we don't have peaks that form uh, when our muffins are baking so we're gonna stir that just a few more times until it gets um, a little bit more of that moisture through it and then we're gonna add our zucchini so I've stirred it enough and it is still a little dry that is good though because the zucchini is going to add moisture to it so I'm gonna be folding the zucchini in now cup of chocolate chips into that as well and we're gonna start folding so you're lifting and stirring and folding it into each other just like that and it is a little heavy it's a little tough at first but as you'll notice as I'm gonna be stirring the uh, powdery areas will start to get a little bit of that moisture from the zucchini so you can see that the moisture from the zucchini has now transferred to the flour side of it. This is now ready to put into our ready uh, cupcake little liners. So we'll get that ready and don't worry that you're seeing the zucchini in there right now. Once it's all baked through, you won't even know it's there and they are so delicious. Let's get those into our muffin tins now. And those are ready to go in the oven. Don't forget to top off your muffins or your loaf pan with the extra half cup of chocolate chips. And I'm gonna bake them, I'm gonna set the timer for about 10 minutes because we don't wanna over bake them. Uh, and then if it needs extra time, I'm gonna check them at that point and it may require an additional five minutes after that. So let's get them in the oven. it's been 10 minutes and it looks like it's going to need probably another five or ten so let's keep them in there. and I've taken them both out so the larger muffins were in the oven for 25 minutes and then I inserted my very large toothpick and it came out clean. Right now it doesn't look like it, but it did come out clean. And my smaller muffins were in there for about 21 minutes and I cut one open to show you that you can see that there's that nice chocolate that's melted, but the actual dough has dried up. And those, we're gonna leave them to cool down before we eat and gobble them all up. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson on our wonderful double chocolate zucchini bread slash muffins. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.